Hey team, welcome to this week's edition of The Pool Guy. Had a few comments from the past videos uh, concerning the Wave Maker. Exactly how does it keep everything safe? All right, so first off, before I walked in here, I turned off all main power to it. This actually has uh, no, another set of breakers. You can see the big top one to the right, right here. And then it has two individual ones right there. That's for number one, and that's for number two, okay? The middle one's number three. I actually have it in service at this point. That's why it's completely disconnected, and it's not even on the main terminal block, all right? You can see the way this works. Out of the main breaker here, it goes down, goes to the turn blocks, and then it splits out to the two breakers here for number one and number three, all right? So one of the comments was about how do we make sure that it doesn't overflow or cause a issue um, where it's gonna be dangerous waves, all right? So one thing is air pressure in the chambers is not gonna cause enough to push water that high into the wave pool. I'm assuming the gentleman that uh, commented, I'm assuming he's talking about the incident in China that happened in uh, July of 2019, where 44 people were injured. I'll put a card up in the uh, top video, about right there, and right there you can actually go see a video of that, okay? But what we think is that it was built where it actually has water chambers, and the water chambers are actually filled up and then there's a gate that opens up and allows water to go in. The safeties behind it must have failed and pushed a ton of water into the pool. You're not gonna get that with air pressure, okay? Also, the way this is built, all right, so these boxes right here, okay? Those are soft starters, okay? So when I turn the motors on, the system is run through a PLC, when I turn the system on, no matter what, automatically, it starts the pistons to open and close the valves, okay? So there's not gonna be a buildup of pressure in the box before it starts pushing waves into the pool. One blower will turn on, and after about 30 seconds, number three will turn on, okay? Now we've set them up where they actually have a delay. So they used to be where they would start up in about 10 seconds. I have these now starting up at around 30 seconds each. It just takes time for them to warm, to, to spool up. And what we've noticed is there is a high amount of uh, uh, amperage draw on the startup at a 10 second. So we put a 30 second and it actually reduced the amp draw on startup. It was actually tripping these breakers if I had it at a 10, a 10 second. We can actually go down to about a, or go up to about 12 seconds, and it was, it was actually working fine, but we decided a 30 second was gonna be fine. So with that is each one of these motors on these blowers is set to trip the breaker at a certain amount of amps for, for the length, right? So if I were actually to put my hand or cover the front end of this, it, it's going to generate a lot of pressure within the encasement for the blower, and it's going to put a lot of stress on the motor, and the motor's going to start to overamp because of that pressure. It can't, it can't actually do anything, and it's going to trip the breaker. So that's another one of the safeties here on this system, okay? Now, this system is actually gen it's made by Whitewater West, okay? Um, this one I would consider to be somewhat commercial off the shelf, COTS, because it's pretty typical for uh, Whitewater to set their systems up like this. Now, in, a sense, in that sense, I say ours is a lot larger than, than typical setups for wave pools by Whitewater. But um, essentially the same setup, okay? Actually, my counterpart in a lower location has a much smaller system, but same PLC, okay? And this PLC does multiple things. Um, if you don't know what PLC stands for, Programmable, Lo Pro Programmable Logic Controller, okay? The PLC here, it uh, controls the startup of the waves and it actually controls the pistons as well. Also what it does is it takes the system's controls and there's a e-stop on it as well, emergency stop. That is the yellow tags right there. That's my e-stops, okay? Um, 
there's not much more to it. Because I've got it in service mode, I'm not gonna be able to turn it on. There's the control panel for it, all right? And you can actually see here's the front of it as well. I can control the waves through here. And you can see it actually controls my, my air compressor too. And the reason it does that is because if the pistons actually fail, or if I don't have any pressure, if you notice, the other opposite side here would be closed versus this one being open. And this is standard right here. So if it feels that there's a loss in air pressure, the pistons won't be able to work. So as a safety, it turns off the system. The system will go into error mode, and if the blowers are, blown, are, are on, it'll actually trip the entire system, turn the motors off safely, and on the, on the display, it will actually uh, show that we have a um, fault in the air compressor. So if I actually turn that switch off and I try and run the waves, it won't run it because it says, no, I need air pressure. And what it does there, it's, there's an accumulator right there, and you see that wire that goes down right there. That's my air pressure sensor for the wave maker. Okay, so it tells it everything it needs to know just off here. Now I do have a future video coming up soon. Once we get water in the pool and I've done the, the maintenance on the, uh, on the wave pool grates, once those are all done, I'm actually gonna put another video for startup of this and testing. I'm gonna start working on the pistons. I'm doing refabs on the pistons. I'm gonna work on this uh, middle blower as well, number two, Put it, I'm gonna stab it back into service. And then uh, hopefully once uh, I get water in the pool, I can start testing. Um, highly not recommended not to do it with no water in the pool, okay? It just, uh, just doesn't work well that way. So there's the wave maker. If you have any more questions, hey, don't, uh, don't hesitate to put them in the comments. If you're liking the videos, please subscribe and uh, give me a like on this video and uh, appreciate everybody uh, subscribing so far. We've had a great jump in the channel, and I appreciate that. Uh, don't forget to share. We'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys.